Hi guys, I'm playing War Robots and I'm playing War Robots on Steam Deck. And yeah, uh, yeah, so this game, I do play this on the highest graphics settings. And uh, oh yeah, Vigor said that Vigor was getting about 47 FPS and now it's saying that War Robots is getting about 27.9 uh, FPS. So it's under 30 FPS, but you have to remember. I do play this game in the highest graphics setting, so it's not exactly playing on the lowest, it's playing on the highest. Right, so with this one, I told you just like before, just press the circle and you'll get out of all the stuff much quicker than pressing the back or the X up there takes way too long see same thing much faster get in get out type of thing right i'm using the z fold uh four to record uh let me try and get some lighting in here it's just that i am using my other phones so uh when i'm using my phone i don't like i mean i, I don't mind like uh this thing i just have to angle this directly uh, differently this is the the samsung galaxy z fold 6 uh, was playing games on this and of course down this the 12 and this is the steam deck and of course um, uh, Everything is been recorded on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Like I said the 6 is this one 12 is the uh, iPhone 12 the steam deck on Windows and of course this is the the 14 Pro Max I was playing games on but I'm using it so right let's let's get the show on the road uh so i already know what's gonna happen in this one it's obviously gonna be about dealing damage yeah five hundred thousand damage is the same thing because this one is uh war robots is the same everywhere like i told you guys double tap on this it goes quicker remember the supply center on steam actually the pc version gives you this uh, supply center three times so you can do this three times and uh, it's giving me some platinum as well that's quite good I think the 500,000 damage, you don't, you don't need like really powerful uh, robots to deal that kind of damage. I feel like um, any kind of robot can deal damage. I mean, even one robot, like I said, even your Titan can deal that 500,000 damage. Because remember, most of these robots do carry like a, a, above, some of them have more than that uh, on their health, on their life, you know. So if you destroy one robot, it's like you've completed the task. But I know, I know you're probably thinking, but how come it's so hard to do it on the, um, on the other ones? Like um, normally when they say uh, destroy, like um, get a double kill. The double kill one, I didn't understand it very well because I, feel, I felt like uh, that one was a trick one. I think they know, they know that these robots are getting old. They know that a lot of people don't spend as much as they used to. And it's just a way to... Uh, get you to buy the newer robots, you know, you know, what I mean, so if they give you a task They know you're not going to be able to do it because obviously someone's going to have a newer robot a newer Titan And it's gonna be like really really hard for you to actually achieve that. So I felt like it was just uh, a way to get you to um... I like to come in and check on resources, but nothing's up um, it's, it, I find it like like I said, it's just a way for them to get you to actually uh, spend spend money. I do use a mouse on this, uh, it's a Razer mouse. Um, it wasn't working properly on my laptop. I think the, the main reason for that is because obviously um, uh, it didn't have the, the Razer software. I, I didn't want to install it on my laptop, so I think that's why it wasn't working properly. So I brought it back to the Steam Deck. Right, it says uh, Icarus Cyber Show, deal 500,000 damage in a single battle. Like I said, uh, most robots will have more than 500,000 in health. So obviously that's simple. Just destroy a robot and that's it. Your, play, your thing is done. Right. It says Icarus Cyber Show, Icarus Cyber Show. Uh, right. Let's go to dailies. Participate in six battles. Uh, gain on points in any category like healing, destroying, capturing beacons, healing your squad. Uh, being the first with the Titan on the field will give you honor points. Because obviously if you get your Titan first... There before everyone else, that puts you really on the top, isn't it? 
You understand? You get a lot of honor points. Then it says gain honor points for top places by kills and damage dealt. You see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, you can do more damage with the Titan than you can with the robot, isn't it? Uh, participate in one battle. And then it says gain uh, beacons. Uh, capture beacons, sorry, that's 10. You know when they're red, just turn them like uh, blue or something. Right, so I'm going to go to the first one. I've got two links. One is a Baloo links. I've got Loki. I've got two Anglers. And I've got the um, Baloo uh, Luchindo in the background. Just want to see it's got damage controller. Like I said last time, that's for your armor. Uh, you know, this thing, what it does is it reduces gray damage. You know when you're getting, um, when someone is attacking you, isn't it? And you're losing life. This gray damage is that gray area on your life uh, bar, isn't it? So when your life is going down, this gray, this damage controller, what it's doing is reducing that amount of life from your Titan. You understand? Where, where it's green, right? So let's just say this is a bar here. And the green life is your life for your Titan. As you're getting attacked, isn't it? You usually should just go quick. Because uh, depending on your Titan, if you can't heal, it will go much quicker. That damage control is going to slow down the damage. That's what it means. It, it uh, helps with gray damage. So what they call gray damage is what is, um, the, when the green goes, that part that's left out is the gray damage. This is what this does. It slows down your damage. Selfix unit that heals your root titan. We see that weird line going up and down. That's a selfix unit. That's this one. That's a selfix unit right there. Damage controller, like I said, that's the one that reduces the damage you take. They call it gray damage or something like that. Cannibal reactor, that one is damage output. I've got two of them. And weapon wise, I've got Vajras, shotgun, alien weapons, and I've got Veron. Same thing, shotgun, alien weapons. And uh, this pilot is not for. Uh, this robot, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, just uh, use any uh, pilot because pilots, yes, it's good to have the correct pilot, but let's say you don't have the correct pilot and then you, do, you don't have a pilot. Uh, what's going to happen is any pilot could have been flying your uh, Titan or robot, right? That pilot can contribute to your robot actually dealing more damage because it's got an added advantage, isn't it? Whereas you've got a robot or you've got a Titan that does not have a pilot. You're going to be losing, um, I mean, you won't lose much, but I, I, would, I would suspect that you'd lose uh, a bit of, um, I don't know, that's how this game uh, functions. It, it always wants you to have something, but I think it's an advantage because this is the way I put it. The pilot does unlo unlock some abilities that your robot can do uh, in battle, and I think it's just a good idea to have uh, to have that um, to have that pilot there, so that whatever abilities your robot does or can do, that your robot is going to have that added advantage over the other robots. See, he's got stealth for a moment there, but it's a links versus links, and there you go. I'm pretty sure that that was 500,000 damage, but who knows? And this damage does go also with uh, your your weapon output, you know? So if your weapons deal so much damage, you can just imagine that they would be dealing that 500,000. Right, so that dude only had 100,000 uh, uh, life on him, so I, I don't know how much damage I did to him. Wow, I was trying to take the beacon but lost my robot. Uh, let's go for the other links. This one's got Redeemers. These are uh, energy weapons. We're gonna go in there, deal some more damage. Try to take that beacon back. Because if we lose that beacon, we'll lose the match. It's as simple as that. Oh, damn, that's an opium. And yeah, it's destroyed my robot. Right! Not going well. Uh, but remember, this is just about dealing damage. I'm gonna do. Uh, this is the Angler now. The crisis robot crisis carries uh, th uh four heavy weapons uh just have this thing called overload where all the weapons do increase increase damage angler carries one heavy weapon and three light weapons right i'm gonna try and destroy this dude wow this guy lived for some time but i killed him before he died right so i think i might be lucky and get this oh damn they killed my robot right i'm gonna use 
the other angler with the hope that if this angler does not die, hopefully I will get my Baloo Luchindo because I do not want to lose my Luchindo. Right, so this I got three, I got three, um, three flights because uh, they do uh, what's called um, radiation damage and uh, of course this, uh, uh, what's this good? Um, the top thing is Clubane that uh, does damage which is damage over time. Right, so it's, I got an assist, this dude is healing me. We are taking this beacon, it's important to get beacons. Why? Because if you don't capture beacons, then you're not going to be able to complete your task. So it would be pointless to play this game. We want to complete our task, play the game. Yeah, I want this guy to come down. So I can annihilate him. Wow, he's flying outside. Oh, that's a Fafnir. I was thinking, how is he going to come back? Right, this dude is healing me. That's all good. I'm wondering if he's got a task to do. Right, um, oh damn. When I use my mothership beam on that dude, boom, he's suffering damage. I'm gonna heal myself. And let's see if I can annihilate this dude who's up there. Let's see what we can do. There is another robot up there. Let's see. Let's see what we're able to do. Oh, damn. Right. So I got my stealth, my invisibility. And if, when I go close to them, I do cause EMP damage. They are suffering quite a bit of damage. And there you go. Ah, damn. They destroyed my robots. Which is fine. Got blue reaching though now. That's the Titan. And he's gonna deal increased damage. And then I got my shield on. And I'm annihilating them, hopefully. If I can win. Uh, I don't know what this dude is doing. He's, trying, he's capturing the beacon. I think that's uh, Ochi Kochi. Uh, it looks like it, but it looks like a mouse as well. Man, these guys are hitting me hard. Look, look at everyone. <laughs> everyone was attacking me. Everybody. What? I still have a robot. Oh yeah, I've got Loki. I forgot, I've got my Loki. I've got my Loxen. I'm gonna use my laser weapon and my freeze weapons to try and freeze this dude. Uh, let's see how much damage you can do to him. Right, that's a titan, so it does take longer to take on damage. But hopefully, because, you know, some people forget that their robots can die. Oh, damn. Look at him, he's just trying to kill me. Right, let's, let's, let's be persistent. I'm on, annihilate this dude. He's about to die, I want to get, ah, damn, someone else got titan slayer. Right, we, we, we destroyed him. Despite the fact that he was a titan, he's gone. Right, let's see, this dude can heal me, heal me, bro. Heal me, heal me, give me some life. You see, that's the good thing about these Dementors. You can just follow them and heal. See, you heal faster as well. Where's that dude gone? Right, he's going down there to fight. Oh, damn. <laughs> I jumped down, I jumped back up. I was like, no. He's gone! <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, this one is about doing damage, but uh, this dude cannot deal a lot of damage. I'm probably not going to do the beacon one. I'm just going to do this one. I might try to do the beacon one, just, just for the sake of it. I, I don't know. I don't know if this dude's trying to win the game. Oh wow, that, that is... Oh! <laughs> I got hit by a titan. Right, that's an other titan. Uh, it does have shields on him. And he carries two uh, beta weapons, one alpha weapon. That one there's a kid. Uh, I do like the, the, the other titans. I think the other titans are still good. Oh, he's got good weapons on him. Let's see, what's his other one? Oh, he's got rockets. Uh, what else? What's what's that weapon on his side? Oh, that's a Vajra and it's got a Veron. The I like this Veron that it's got. It's quite nice. Alright, so this dude is dealing some damage. Let's see what he's got. Alright, his weapons are not that good though. Oh, wow. Sorry about that. Um, 
I think I pressed somewhere else on the screen. Uh, it happens if you press somewhere else, you know, like down here. I was actually trying to get uh, to this thing here. Right, he's got a lantern and he's got a veron. And uh, I don't know what weapon's got on his back. Uh, that looks like a missile. Yeah, yeah, missiles. Got missiles on his back. Right, so this dude's got uh, Veron. I know what that one is. That's a clave. And that one is a cyclone. Right, so those are all energy weapons that he's got. And this dude does have a furnace around him. So he can burn anything around him. Right, this guy's got... Um, those are called Hells, and those are Freeze Weapons, and you got two Spark on him. Um, that's a Natasha robot, that's a very old robot, but you see people still like to use them. Uh, what's this? That's, that is a shell, but it's been taken out, it's out of commission. It's a robot, and that's the... Uh, let's see, what dude is this one? <laughs> I'm just noticing that my mouse does go outside a bit. Right, so that was still a serious. It's a Titan. Right, so it says I'm getting 27.9 FPS in the game. Um, but the FPS count is going to about 30 when I'm not in the game. In the menus, it's uh, staying around 30. I'm seeing that by looking at AMD software, Adrenaline Edition. So just press the circle, like I said, and you avoid all this stuff. Except for these, because they always want you to buy something. So you just have to kind of say no and then move on just press the circle you see you can even exit the game if you keep pressing circle i'm pretty sure that i finished that task yes it says i did finish it that's cool and then it's going to say capture 15 beacons with jumping robots or with flying robots uh which is also not a problem let's see if the operations if there's anything they want to give me they're going to say one data pad which is fine and like i said i'm going to go straight into the delivery thingy and see if they give me anything anything worthwhile this time they like giving away stuff they don't they don't want you to have but uh oh five thousand what's this thing this uh this subduer right they give me five thousand of that that's quite nice right um uh, right so what i'm gonna do here is um thinking about if i should attempt this 15 beacons thing i'm looking at what i've got i've got this dude i've got loki i've got the links i've got the anglers the anglers i don't i don't really want to use anglers you know what i mean so i'm trying to look and see what robots i can use to capture beacons it's just about beacons it's not about winning you know just beacons so i'm thinking if i swap this angler for uh, the neither robot let's swap him I know you're probably thinking Ochikochi. Ochikochi, yes, would have been a good uh, thing as well. But I think neither is much better because it's faster, you know. It's, it's just about capturing beacons. As long as you capture the beacon, even if you lose the match, it doesn't matter. Just capture the beacons. I'm going to swap the links for the Ochikochis. But then I'm thinking Lynx is a much better robot. So <laughs> I think I'll keep the Lynx. They, they're just better. And the Loki as well. Oh, wait, wait. It does say flying or jumping robots, didn't it? Ah, right. I see the problem now. They need to be flying or jumping. Right. So, uh, these need to be flying robots. That's a pity, man. Because you see these. These, these would have been good. They have got two Ochi coaches. One is unknown. One Scorpion and uh, Techno Scorpion. Two of them. Hemindale. That's a healing scavenger. Hemindale's a healing titan. Uh, but none of these jump. Uh, these ones, none of these jump. That's uh, two Erebus, sniper robots, and anglers. They use EMP and uh, Mars MK2. That's got a turret, carries three uh, weapons on him, medium weapons. That's uh, Newton. That's the one that can lift up other Titans. Then we're looking at Rook. That does fly. And uh, I've got a few robots in there that fly. I got the nightingales, uh, harpies, right, and the image. All I need to do in here is swap out the sheriff dementor. The problem, like I said, is the harpies are not fast enough to to move. That's why I don't like them. That I don't like using them. Right. So what I'm gonna do? Yeah, I, it doesn't matter. I'll just leave this hanger like this because it looks pretty cool. It's got the needles, 
two meters, two links. One is Baloo and uh, Loki and uh, ba uh, Baloo Luchino in the background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use this hanger, right? Because it's the easiest one. I don't have to change a lot. But I want to swap out the Sheriff Dementor uh, for the Happy. And this Happy does have uh, two Hurricanes. Those are missiles and the shockwave uh, weapon, the heavy weapon, the fembor. Right. So what I'm going to do here is, so that means I got three, uh, four hap, no, three happies. Sorry, um, two kiss and happies, the the white ones, and the happy, the normal version, yellow, and uh, nightingale, and uh, ardent imagey, all these fly, and rook titan in the background. So I want to look at and see what rook's got on him. Got healing. Suffix unit, it's got Titan anti cooler, that means effects will be lasting less. It's got damage controller and it's got onslaught reactor. Got Kraken Mahavadra, that's a alien weapon, shotgun weapon. Lantern, that's a blinding weapon. And Cinder, that's a fire weapon. So I feel like this is a the best it's going to be for me because all I did in here is swap one robot and that was it. Right, so you see, that even looks nice, isn't it? Because you got the two Crimson Hawks, the two Dagon, and you got the Chef Dementor in the middle. Look at that, that looks so sweet. And you got Indra in the background. So obviously, I can't use the Sanya, I have to use flying uh, or jumping robots. I think this is gonna be my best bet. I'm gonna go to uh, Beacon Rush and see what I can do in here.